Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm back for another story time. So, I don't know, I'm going to see if I can work my way through this. I'm pretty tired. It's the end of the day. Um, but I thought I'd try to go through this stack of uh, photos. I found my uh, gold mine of uh, magazines and photos. and uh, yeah, i got a big pile of them sitting over here on the floor. A uh, bunch of different stuff that I've that I've done, and uh, I kind of made some different stacks, and decided I'd go through here and uh, do a couple couple videos about just some random stuff, some old jobs I've had, some things I've done. So I started this skateboard company. Let's see, maybe I should back up. Actually, while I was working for the fire department, I met some uh, some guys that uh, were skating. I had a warehouse with a uh, like indoor skate park, had an apparel company, and they were uh, merchandising, uh, marketing, selling t-shirts, different different clothing. And uh, I got back into skateboarding. I skated when I was younger, and I'd quit for a while. And I, uh, excuse me, started skating with these guys again, and then I got really into it, more than I was when I was a kid. And... Uh, turn that into a skateboard company, call it company. Uh, we had, I don't know, a few hundred uh, decks printed. I don't know, maybe we uh, should, a little more than that. Maximum a thousand. Uh, it was called Nobody Skateboards. And uh, there was a reason we had the name, Nobody. Uh, but uh, yeah, we put out maybe possibly a max of a thousand skateboards. And uh, some shirts, some different things like that. But along the way, you know, I'm a photographer. I was a photographer in the Air Force. And uh, I actually started doing photography before I was a photographer in the Air Force. And I did a lot of modeling photography. Not me as the model. Uh, you know, photos of models, you know, pennant models, stuff like that. Uh, skateboarding, live shows. Uh, product photography, all kinds of different stuff, and just photography on my own when I when I traveled. So uh, here's here's some of my photos that I found today. Um, so here's I, there's no well I about said here's a quick story. This is uh, I could have scanned these and done all this stuff, but I figured I'd just show everybody the actual photos that I had printed out a while ago. Can't even hold these straight. Um, so this is Louis Barletta. Um, he owns a skateboard company called Enjoy, E-N-J-O-I. And uh, he is a really unique, just badass skateboarder. He looks kind of like skinny, kind of hippie guy. And then you see him skate and he's doing things that some really manly men wouldn't even ever try. So we actually built, uh, me and my buddies, this is in the backyard of an old friend's house. We built this vert wall. We built an entire skate park in his backyard. And I'll maybe show some photos of that. This might be a long video. Who knows? We'll see. Ooh, I need to get rid of that glare, don't I? So anyway, there's Louie. He's doing a front side rock on uh, this vert wall that's like six feet, seven feet tall. And there's about a centimeter uh, for his board to get through that gap. That's the overhang from the patio up there. Um, and then you see we backfilled it with like... Uh, newspaper and beer cans and all kinds of just whatever was <laughs> left around and it was a pretty good skate park so that's louis barletta we did a um we did a demo with crux trucks and it was louis barletta and uh, caswell berry and cairo foster a bunch of different people and i actually went up to cairo foster and i said hey man we got this skate park in my buddy's backyard we spent a lot of time building i think you guys would like it nobody's ever skated it but us like like 10 of us and that's a gold mine to a skateboarder, especially a, a professional skateboarder um, for footage. Actually, let's see. Let's go from that to. I was gonna. I was gonna show you all the photos first, but I'll just go from that to this real quick, so it kind of connects. So that photo ended up on the cover of this magazine right here. I'm just. This is a old clothing catalog that's stuck in here as a divider but uh yeah this was a skate design paying and pain man i didn't do, okay there we go so there's uh louis barletta in the backyard skate park built 
front cover of this magazine. Uh, that was kind of cool. And then there's a couple ads that I did in here. All right, I'll just go back. Man, this is going to be out of order. Whatever, whatever. Hey, this is about skateboarding. It doesn't, doesn't need to be in order. Um, yeah, this was actually, see, this was before I knew about all of the symbolism and all of, before, yeah, before I go any further, there's a lot of, like, occultic type symbolism in this stuff. Some of these people in these photos are perps. Right now, I don't want to talk about who they are and who they aren't. Uh, I just want to talk about the skateboarding stuff, but there are definitely some people that were involved in the organized stalking harassment in here, but that's a whole other ch show, channel. Uh, look at my old videos if you want to hear that. that. This is about my skateboarding stuff. Um, so I would do ads for these guys, too, for their clothing company. I'd do photos and ads for uh, Even Apparel, which was uh, not this, whoa, not this one, but this one. So do a little sequence here. Whoa, geez, I'm back with a little sequence here. Um, that was actually one of the owners. That was his son, my my son's friend. And I had another another one of these in a place. Oh, here we go. Okay, it wasn't too far. Uh, this is this is Andrew Thaxter. He was a buddy of mine and um, really good skater. This is a series I did right here. A sequence. Him doing a one foot switch board slide down uh, a hub ledge. Hope I said that right. I'm not a street skater. One foot. Not board slide. Tail slide. I like the skate pools. That. I'd have a hard time keeping up with all that stuff. So speaking of pools, so this next one is, uh, this is Tom Knox. If anybody's an old school skateboarder, where can I put this? There we go. That's Tom Knox in Orange Cove, California. Uh, this one, uh, I actually met him out there to do this photo. And uh, this is a Madonna. And he's got a helmet on. A lot of skateboard photos, uh, they don't like... They're, they're like, nah, get rid of the helmet. This was actually for a helmet company, S1 Helmets. So he had his helmet on. You know, I recommend wearing a helmet now that I'm getting a little older. So he's even got his knee pads on there, his S1 knee pads. But yeah, this guy's skating like a 14 foot deep pool. Um, he's older than I am. Uh, runs a jiu jitsu dojo st still, I believe. And uh, so he, you know, he needs to protect himself. He's got, uh, and, oh, and I think this guy's an airplane mechanic as well still i think he does all of this still uh but he's from visalia california oh and he's in a band <laughs> yeah yeah if i ever think i'm like i've done a lot of stuff i just think about tom knox that guy's uh does everything um so should i go to let's see i don't know which magazine let's see oh yeah Okay, I found it. That was quick. So that photo actually ended up in this magazine right here. This is Skateboarder Magazine. Maybe some of you heard of that one. Uh, so that's, that's that photo right there that I was just showing you in this. Damn, I'm terrible at this. I should have done the uh, scan it. <laughs> anyway. That's an S1 helmets ad. Uh, Tom Knox. This is the worst video. I might not even use this video. Who knows? I might. Uh, and uh, yeah, I got a helmet out of that one. Got a little paycheck after a while. Um, still have my helmet, actually. That's a good helmet. That's probably one of the best helmets. All right, so that's. Uh, Tom Knox. Tom Knox is from Visalia, skated for Santa Cruz Skateboards. He's an old school skateboarder. Um, check out some of his old YouTube videos. The guy is like one of the kings of street skating. And uh, some of the original 90s, like small board street skating. And uh, he can skate the shit out of a pool too. I've seen him do it. Been, been <laughs> with him many a times to see that go down. Um, 
All right, well, this is just the next one in the pile. These, oh, if you're wondering what those little other things were, I talked about these in another video. This is actually the uh, a catalog that Heathen Apparel did. Yeah, so notice the star Heathen. I just thought it was, uh, you know, actually this dude, this dude told me, uh, yeah, my grandma used to just call us Heathen, so I thought it was cute. This is, uh, this is an old product catalog that I did all the photos, and actually this guy, Kevin, laid out the, uh, this guy right here, that's Kevin. Let's see, I'm getting better at that. Okay. He did all the uh, layout for this catalog. Uh, him, myself, and this guy, Josh. Wow, look at my fingernails, how dirty they are. That's kind of appropriate for a skateboard video, dirty fingernails. You know, I work, I have a job. I was pulling weeds, shipping out used hats, you know, dirty fingernails, whatever. Uh, pretty well, yeah, so that was those catalogs from Heathen Apparel. And those were actually in quite a few stores for a while, those guys. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't remember who took this photo. It obviously wasn't me, because uh, this, well, this is me skating, showing off my bald spot. Actually, I had more hair there back then. Um, this was, I don't know, maybe five, six years ago? No, maybe more. Time flies, I'm not sure. But that was in San Francisco, San Francisco Skate Park, doing a little... Ooh, what am I doing? Backside feeble. I don't even know what I'm doing. That's Andrew doing a goofy wall ride. Look kind of cool. Um, so this right here actually is a world famous spot. Um, the Clipper. 